BrahMos is the world's fastest supersonic cruise missile, and according to Karak technological standards, intercepting it is nearly impossible. This missile utilizes a ramjet engine, allowing it to reach speeds of up to Mach 3. To make this video easier to understand, let us first explore some basic terminologies. The speed of a missile is commonly measured using Mach numbers. Mach 1 refers to the speed of sound approximately 1,225 kilometers per hour. Consequently, Mach 2 is twice the speed of sound and higher Mach numbers represent even greater velocities. Supersonic missiles are those operating between Mach 1 and Mach 4, while hypersonic missiles exceed Mach 5. The BrahMos missile was jointly developed by India and Russia. Currently, work is underway on BrahMos 2, which will be a hypersonic missile. The Mach 1 speed acts as a physical barrier that many missiles and even passenger planes struggle to surpass. Let's simplify this concept. Imagine an aircraft flying below Mach 1 in the atmosphere. As it moves, it pushes against air particles, causing them to move sideways. Simultaneously, the aircraft generates pressure waves, similar to how sound waves travel through air. Indeed, sound waves are also known as pressure waves. To further simplify, when the aircraft moves forward, it applies force on the air particles. These particles, in turn, exert force on adjacent particles, creating waves in the air, similar to ripples formed when a stone is thrown into water. As the aircraft's speed increases, the pressure waves begin to gather at its nose, because the waves themselves can only travel at the speed of sound, Mach 1. For instance, if the aircraft flies at 0.5 Mach, the pressure waves move ahead of it. However, as the aircraft approaches Mach 1, the waves cluster at the front, creating a pressure barrier. Only if the aircraft has sufficient thrust can it break through this barrier, otherwise it remains below Mach 1. During World War II, pilots observed that as they approached Mach 1, it felt as though an invisible force was preventing them from accelerating further. When the aircraft increases its thrust and breaks this barrier, the previously gathered pressure waves disperse, forming a conical shape, known as the shock cone. At the edges of this cone, high pressure and high temperature shock waves are generated. The pressure inside these shock waves can be 29 times greater than the surrounding atmosphere because the fast-moving air particles inside the cone collide with the stationary air outside generating the shock waves. Although the thickness of a shock wave is only about 200 Nm, Brahmo scientists realized they could utilize these naturally generated high-pressure shock waves to enhance missile speed, leading to the development of the ramjet engine. The ramjet engine is unique because it has no moving or rotating parts and operates only at supersonic speeds, meaning it is activated once the missile surpasses Mach 1. The working principle of the engine is relatively straightforward. However, before diving into it, let us understand how the concept of shock waves applies here. Imagine a missile-shaped cylinder traveling at supersonic speeds. As it moves, numerous pressure waves are generated along its outer edges, forming a cone-shaped pattern around the missile. Interestingly, if we observe the cylinder internally, the pressure waves converge towards the center, forming another cone. To analyze the combined effect, consider slicing the cylinder cross-sectionally at various points. As the number of cones increases, the empty spaces gradually fill in. In reality, an infinite number of such cones emanate from the missile's nose, creating a dense, naturally thickened shockwave structure within the cylinder. These overlapping shock waves possess extremely high pressure and temperature. Importantly, this state is achieved without any mechanical compressors, a phenomenon known as the RAM effect. This high pressure air is directed towards the combustion chamber, where it mixes with fuel, typically hydrogen, and combusts. The resulting gases expand rapidly and exit the missile at high velocity, generating thrust according to Newton's third law of motion. To further enhance thrust, a converging-diverging nozzle is used at the exhaust. However, with this basic ramjet design, 
the missile speed is limited to around Mach 1.2 to 1.5, due to pressure spilling out once the combustion chamber pressure exceeds a certain limit. To overcome this, scientists redesigned the missile's nose cone. The new design compresses the incoming air more efficiently, using oblique shock waves generated as the air strikes the nose and body surfaces. These oblique shock waves increase pressure without causing air to spill out, ensuring a steady supply of high pressure air to the combustion chamber. As air progresses, the oblique shock waves eventually slow down, leading to the formation of a normal shock wave where pressure and temperature increase significantly. Due to the high speed airflow through the combustion chamber, fuel must mix with air within milliseconds. To prevent the flame from blowing out in this fast moving stream, a flame holder is installed. With this design, the BrahMos missile can achieve speeds up to Mach 3. However, ramjet engines cannot handle the initial air resistance below Mach 1. Therefore, BrahMos uses a solid propellant booster motor for the initial acceleration phase. Now let us understand the complete launch process. BrahMos can be launched from submarines, fighter jets, and surface platforms and India possesses all three capabilities. Step 1. The missile's nose cone houses the warhead, which can weigh up to 300 kg and may carry a nuclear payload. Step 2. The target coordinates and flight path are pre-programmed into the missile's computer system, deciding whether it will follow a high altitude or low altitude trajectory. Step 3. The missile is placed in a launch tube with a gas generator at the bottom. The generator releases high-pressure gas, propelling the missile 15 to 20 meters upwards. At this height, the first stage solid rocket booster ignites. Small thrusters on the missile cap adjust its direction, and the cap is then jettisoned. Step 4. As the missile crosses Mach 1, the solid booster separates, and the ramjet engine takes over to further accelerate the missile. Step 5. During its flight, if an interceptor missile approaches, BrahMos can alter its flight path to evade and confuse the interceptor. Step 6. Equipped with an Inertial Navigation System or INS and GPS, the missile continuously adjusts its trajectory. A radar at the front locks onto the target within a 50km range, ensuring a direct hit even if the target is moving. Step 7. Finally, BrahMos strikes the target detonating its warhead and causing massive destruction. We hope this detailed explanation of the BrahMos missile and its ramjet engine has been informative. Please let us know your thoughts in the comments section. Thank you.